Bianca Belair here considers herself the EST of WWE, the strongest, fastest, toughest, and all-around best superstar the company has to offer. And one of the most athletic superstars to ever come out of the Performance Center. You could say her EST moniker is cocky, but there is also a strong element of truth to it. Absolutely. Belair certainly not lacking for confidence, especially as she can often back up her claims in the ring. And because of the true role model that she is, Bailey's indomitable spirit should be the deciding factor here tonight. You can't hold down Bailey's fortitude. If you ask me, there's a better chance that it'll actually be Bailey's ego. Bailey just doesn't have the same fighting spirit she once had. Doesn't fight with the same purpose she had when she had the WWE Universe behind her. Corey, I'm curious at what you think Bailey needs to do here to get and maintain a leg up over a super athlete like Bianca Belair. Well, obviously, Bailey shouldn't think in terms like super athlete when she's focusing on Belair. That's self-defeating. She needs to think of Belair in terms like obstacle or roadblock or nuisance. Bailey's a role model and a consummate competitor. She's not as starstruck as you are, Cole. The horrible one. Bianca is certainly fighting from behind now. Yeah, the role model certainly teaching Belair a very important lesson here. Fought up an elbow. Up and down into the shin breaker. Dragon screw, beautiful. German suplex. An all out attack from Bailey. That killer instinct from Bailey shining through. She might be in some trouble now. At this stage of the. Thinking about a rolling oh, pin, watch this. Oh, wow, look at the ledge. I can't make sense of that decision. She might have had the pinfall in hand. My goodness, did you hear that chop? Bailey to Bailey! Looking for the victory! Two count! An emphatic victory! Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, Bailey. These teams have been waiting for this opportunity to get at each other, and tonight they finally get their chance in this Tornado Tag Match. We will see Finn Balor and Farouk. And the opposing team is, of course, filled with the Million Dollar Man and Ric Flair. There's absolutely nothing that can prepare you for the brutality that could take place in a match like this. I absolutely agree. With every ticking second, the risk of injury increases, and you have to not only look out for your own safety, but your partners as well. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Great wherewithal on the counter. Oh, Finn Balor with the overhead kick. This match grinded him down a little. Boom! Oh, hard impact in the corner. Oh. He's going for the pin. Well, that was a close call. He won't allow himself to be embarrassed this early on. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. 
Finn able to get out of the way. Bang! I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. A superstar could go all day. Drew turns it around. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Down, what a gourd buster. And set him up. Oh, oh the face. Face. That's going to hurt. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. He thinks he has it. Kick out before the refs count. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Big forearm. Just hot shot it to the outside. Look at that. Last decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Bang! And he goes into the ring. Ooh, that landed. Well, that'll do some serious damage. He's looking a little weary now. DiBiase felt that coming. Right to the leg. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Shoulders down. This could be it. And somehow, some way. Oh, oh my Look at goodness. This. From the ground up. Power slam. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Knife edge chop. And Climbing to the top rope. Followed by a knee drop. A fracture in orbital. Lift off. Splash. Here he goes for the win. One, two. How in the world did he kick out? Are you kidding? And Balor in full control here. 19 16. drop. An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here's another gander what made this tornado tag match such a memorable one. And things getting started for these three in this triple threat match. This one's going to test these superstars' creativity. It's going to take outside-of-the-box thinking to prevail against two other competitors. Made her pay for her mistake. A series of reversals. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Oh, what a hip toss. Ouch. Caught her. Oh, yeah. my God, what an elbow. Corey, the tide of a triple threat match can change at any moment. How would you suggest a competitor keep from being overwhelmed when that happens? I don't even know if that's completely possible, Cole. However, one should take advantage of the inherent no disqualification, no count out aspect of a triple threat match. Some might call it taking a shortcut, but if it's legal, I don't see why you'd avoid doing it. Kick right to the leg. I don't really think this is the most opportune time to be looking for the fans' praise. Climbs back inside. Giving the people a chance to take in her undeniable greatness. Telling her opposition, you are way out of your depth here. Placing them into the corner. Oh, strong impact. Look at Bailey, Fez press. Bailey in total control. Here's Evans landing hard outside. Backdrop suplex. Oh, 
Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled Matt Slam. Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. She's feeling the hurt here. Uh-oh. High angle belly of back suplex. Great rotation on the belly of back suplex. This is gonna be stiff, vicious backdrop suplex. Such a potent display of power and control there. Oh, that got turned around on Evans. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. A counter answered by another counter. Belly to belly! Into the pin attempt. Two! Oh, a big kick out by Evans. Not yet. She's still as determined as ever. Bailey's looking dangerous in there. Yeah, Lacey needs to rethink her strategy fast. What a forearm. Nice running crossbody. And now she's given us all a chance to bask in her effervescence. Now Bailey looking for some momentum. Good chance for her to gain her wits about her. A quick reversal by Bailey. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Nice takedown. Face crusher. She's taking a beating into the cover. Oh. And she fights it off. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. With authority. There's a supreme woman in our midst. Show some respect, WWE Universe. Paying it right back with a reversal. Choke slam! Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's gonna love this. Dude, bust! Bailey could be thinking about the end. With a rose plant. Will that stop Lacey? Two. Got it. Survived the triple threat match. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. The ringside area is surrounded with tables as it will take putting your opponent through a table to win this match. There are few things more satisfying than finally hearing a superstar go through a table. Locked Ooh. in on the shoulder. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. He turns it around. Dutching out of trouble. Reversal on top of reversal. Boom, if at first you don't succeed. Oh, right to the leg. Oh, weakening the leg here. Ooh, well measured. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Byron, what could be the deciding factor in a tables match setting? It is all about being able to survive a truly chaotic environment. You need next level awareness to avoid accidentally losing the match. And some of the biggest upsets in WWE history have occurred in tables matches. I think it might happen again here tonight. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, what are they doing here? All the way out. Sit out, Gord Buster. Disheartening position for HBK. Nakamura cannot be stopped, gentlemen. 
The kick drops them to their knees, and now kick after kick after kick. Roundhouse kicks keep coming. Good night. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think a table really ties it all together. He's struggling a bit here. I think we're about to see a body go through a table real soon. Looks like he has something planned with this table, guys. I don't want to know. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Michaels is not taking this lying down anymore. Good chance for Michaels to regain some composure. Just endless knee strikes. Shinsuke Nakamura just having his way. Tough night so far for Michaels. Getting him into the corner. And setting him up. Oh, oh him yes. That's going to hurt. Michaels with the awareness. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Oh, oh drop. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Comes back into the ring. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. He's in a bad way, guys. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. I would still be careful because sweet chin music can strike at any moment. Takedown. Ooh, stiff punch. Great counter. ABK connects. And he gets the better of HBK. Kick drops them to their knees, and now kick after kick after kick. Roundhouse kicks keep coming. Boom! The exclamation point. This one is over. Here is your winner. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. What a tremendous win in this tables match. One of the best. You think about every time you knock your opponent down in a last man standing match, every time you wait for that referee to count, you got plenty of time to plan your next move. Forget planning your next move. Most of these superstars are just trying to catch their breath. Which begs the question, does a superstar with the best cardiovascular conditioning have the advantage here? Uh, sometimes, but what's more important is having the fortitude to withstand a beating and keep getting up. Yeah, definitely no substitute for toughness in a last man standing match. Just breaking down the opponent. 
And now the gears are really turning for Balor. Cena's just trying to weather the storm. There's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. He's absorbed some damage already. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. A superstar could go all day. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That will get your attention. An uninterrupted surge against Cena here. A series of disabling maneuvers from Finn. Stomping. Ouch. Byron, a match like this is where we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, oh Balor with the counter. Placed into the corner. Oh, what a counter. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Balor setting up. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And taking this kind of damage is unsustainable. Getting up from the count of 10 is going to be impossible at this rate. Oh. Boom, a forearm smash. Oh, target of the arm. Oh, God, that hurt. Extraordinary offense from Balor. Cena has to find a way to reassert himself. Two. Balor's got him hooked. Up and... He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Six. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Eight. That stops the count, so this match will roll on. And the boom! Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. A series of disabling maneuvers from Finn. Finn gets stopped in his tracks, being carried around with ease. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, low drop kick right on the patella. What a forearm. Balor with 19 16 from Balor. Balor could take this one. Eyes in the drop zone. Coup de grace. Will see the survival instincts kick in. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Eight. Nine. The sound of this... And the official calls it clearly they cannot fight any longer. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.